Zingy. Temperatures in the 90s right now around first pitch. Yeah, Boog, some players love this heat. They feel like there's no fear attacking the baseball, don't have to worry about cold days and getting jammed. But I tell you what, for me, it was always about hydration because I could cramp up, and you have to make sure that you stay up on your fluids. And it's not just when the game starts. This is something that you have to do days in advance if you're someone that's prone to cramping. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now and our starting pitcher here today Kenta Maeda and Singy we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an Leading incredible the job the with runners in scoring position the most guys game. they get a little Tom tight they start to aim the baseball yeah. but for some reason. He gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Tommy Fan now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. First hit, one ten. And a foul ball. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Nope, he held back. The why to kick the pitch. On the ground. In time to Canna. One up, one down. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. It's been a downright dreadful year for them offensively. They are dead last in the league in runs scored. Boog, the clubhouse guys don't even like watching these guys play. That's how bad it is. And those guys are usually your biggest cheerleaders when things aren't going well. But uh, the team, they're lacking in some areas for sure. They're going to have to figure out some ways to try to upgrade this lineup. Maybe it's something that takes place in the offseason. But you just can't put this type of product out on the field if you want to maintain a good, solid fan base. pitch and that's outside and it's one and one he's a bad ball hitter so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone he still might beat you not an easy out by any means that's down and in a slider missed definitely a swing and miss slider down and in he finished that really well just couldn't get him to offer at it Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And that's ball, ball four. four. That's out. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. That hitter that didn't hurt. offer at it. The now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Luis oh, Robert now. This is again five in a row. And the 1 0. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Next offering is down low. Benintendi, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. That one's in there, and now three and one. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And they take care of Robert for the out. Two down. And now the DH, Gavin Sheets. And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter.
Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Settles underneath it. And that is that. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity, no score. And we're back. Today's starting pitcher, Michael Kopech. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. That's in there. Just missed. And another ball. Grounder off the pitcher. He picked it up with the bare hand. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Definitely some concern here. That ball came back and got him right on the pitching arm, as you can see him trying to shake it off. And if nothing else, you worry about him getting some dead arm and losing some feeling. But from what I can tell, I think they're going to let him continue. And that's a really good sign. And next to hit for Detroit, Colt Keith. First yep, pitch misses. to center Robert moves under him Robert makes the play that is good. and now the Tigers line up for manager AJ Hinch and perhaps part of the game plan is to get into the bullpen as early as possible they're facing a staff that's blown a lot of games in the later innings Boog and his hitters, you're aware of that, but you don't want to become too relaxed and wait too late in the ball game because you never know what could happen on any given day. But with that said, even if you fall behind oh. early, you've got a lot of confidence that this game will not be over until that final out. Man at first, one away. That's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Up and in, and it's two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Runner takes off. Out towards right center field. Sizes this one up. Robert pulls that one down. The first base Mark. Here's Mark Canna. And there's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing oh, in two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Thierling, the runner at first with two gone. Pitch ball misses one. there, and that's ball one. one ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Gior Shelley to the plate. The third baseman. Yeah, there's the strike. Two 
two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Finds its way through base hit. Runner around third. The throw is offline. He's safe. On the board first, it's one zip. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. So two down, digging in. Wenzel Perez. There's a strike. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And here it comes. And ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. First and second, two down. Struck him out looking. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second, and here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. And he deals. Pitch is in there. And it's 0 1. My 35 years old, and he was born in Japan. On the ground, out to short. Throws the first in time. One out in the second. That is it. The short shot. Paul DeYoung. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offer in there for a strike. 0 and 2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0 2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Three. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off of his shoulder. I mean, you've got to go up there looking to swing at some point, Ooh. especially once you're down 0 2. And at that point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Here's Corey Lee. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently under the Mendoza line so far this month. And there's a hit. And that extends the inning. I'm sure he feels really good about that the one. Just a solid swing Mickey. right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Foul ball there. Two outs. Swing and a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So first and second with two outs. Lennon Sosa steps to the plate for the White Sox. Fastball hey. for a strike. Oh, one's the count. White Sox down to run here at the top of the second. 
ground ball nope. left side ball. and it's just foul that was close. Three. Strike three got him swinging that's at number three. He's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results. Justin Henry, Henry Malloy. Justin Henry Malloy. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivery, nice. strike one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And the right hander deals. And oh, one and two. It's a good take. And now two and two. The punch out there. That's one out at the bottom of the second. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. And yeah, that's too high. One down, base is empty. That oh. one missed. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today. Sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him. Perfect. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Batting and next up for That's the Tigers, the Ryan Kreidler. That one finds the corner. Oh, and one. Rogers at first, one gone. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, a two now. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Righty to the plate. That one, one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He had him out in front, which <laughs> isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Matt Veerling. Reached on an infield single his first time. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Kopeka throw over. No, and he dives back in safely. Kicks and fires. And that drops in for a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. 
Bunch. That ball one's upstairs, that. ball one. And that's ball one. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Foul ball still, one and two count. At the belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. And another ball. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Tigers leave one. They lead it one nothing. Back here in Detroit. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy Pham. Tommy. Maeda back to work. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Oh. And a quick out number one. The left lane number 23. Andrew Benintendi. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. That misses the zone, and it's one to no. Oh. Late on that fastball. Man, he was one really one. tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And it's strike two. The White Sox down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Dunks one into left. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always yeah, make yeah, you smile. He clearly didn't easy. catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of yeah, muscled yeah. it out there and on the mound it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes right yeah. now with the plate as he swings through Long strike one. one oh one now would chase that time Slider misses outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Benintendi on the go. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. And there's two away. Now bad. The designated hitter. Gavin. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hit in the air, center field. Calls it in to end the inning. The White Sox leave one. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the inning. Leading on the batter now. Oh, Keith. The second, second baseman. Base. Go. 
And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Tigers did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. That one's in there. And the count one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind and the pitch. Got it by him for the K. Here's Riley Green. Oh, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Riley Green. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offering is downstairs. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. One down, base is empty. Ball three. And a pitch. Right side. Vaughn steps on the bag, two up, two down. The first base is number 21. Mark. Mark. Canna. Canna. Two outs, space is empty. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. One for one with a single so far. First pitch just misses. Ball one, no strike. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. On to inning number four. It's the Tigers one and the White Sox nothing. Back at Comerica Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn. Pitch. Breaking hey. ball through there for a strike. All ones the count. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 2. Hey. Strike three. Throws him with the front door slider. Oh, he was shopping at the buffer right there, the way that slider made him walk. That was just nasty. Oh, young. And the batter will be the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Fall off foul. The Tigers leading by a run, top half of inning number four. And a big swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. On the ground to third, Urshela. Jump throw, and a couple of quick outs. My goodness, Chris, he had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. In the air, all the way from third base. You've got to have a powerful arm to play third base, but 
He just showed he's got more than enough. He's got a cannon. Lee stands in now and watches strike one. There's a swing and a drive. It bangs off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just about got it out of here down the line of that. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it. But he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. Man at second here with two away. And next to him for the Sox, Nicky Lopez. Nope, First offering, and it just misses. And that one pulled foul. Man on second, two down. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Softly hit the third, Urshela. That's the third out. So one left for the White Sox. They trail here, one nothing. The right-hander back to work. That one to first. Can't glove it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. So a lefty out of the pen, Garrett Crochet. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Line drive. Coming on his fam to make the play. The left fielder, number 44, Justin Henry. Here's the left fielder, Justin Henry Malloy. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now a jump throw. Not in time, and he reaches safely. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. And at first, Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. He'll circle the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add on. It's 3 0. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that ball. Two outs, nobody on. And now here is Ryan Kreidler. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, and one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings hey. through that one. Filthy change oh, right there. Just pulled the string. 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the inning. Detroit adds two on this homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Line. Now the third baseman, the third base Lennon base. Sosa. Lennon Sosa. The pitch. In there to knees. One one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And the 0 1. In the air, out towards right center. Perez makes the catch for the out. And there's one away. Now bat the right field. So the batting order turns over. Here's Tommy Pham. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. That's oh, off the inside. mark. Ball one. Short hop liner handled it short. It timed the canna. Two away. The left hand number 23. Andrew. Ben and Ben and up here. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Just missed. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning going. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now it's Luis Robert. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Oh and Two outs. Swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a oh, devastating down. pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And the righty deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here comes a pitch. Right through there. Got it. And that'll do it. to the bottom of the fifth and now the center fielder Matt Veerling and a pitch Veerling goes six feet three inches 205 pounds and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018 Swings through that. On the mound, you take a note. Yeah, you ball, see the right. hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. And try to climb the ladder. And no the slider down. just misses. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The wind of the pitch. 
That misses the zone. Here. Three balls, two strikes. And now the lefty. Swing at a high fly ball left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder the coming bat. open instead the of staying closed. Three. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Key in the box again. Takes the strike. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very Aye. difficult. Especially for a left-handed hitter to track. One down, base is empty. Fouls it back with two strikes. Tees the zone with that fastball a little bit up. Fouled it off. Expect him to go a little bit higher with this next one. Just off the inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Bows it off, still one and two. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Lee puts it away for the out. Two away. Now batting, the designated hitter, Riley. And next Green. is the designated hitter, Riley Green. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. one. And oh. Strike on the inside corner. And ball another two. ball. Two, ball. two down, nobody Four on. Strike. Last half of inning number five. Eight. Next offer is in for a strike. Slider misses outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Tigers are shut down there, but they lead it 3-0. It's the DH, Gavin Sheets. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these White Sox, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing Outside, wrong with delivering ball. consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball still, one and two count. That one missing inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to the left. Urshela to first in time. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Andrew Vaughn now. To the right side. Keith. Whips it to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. 
now back the short shot Paul DeYoung two outs base is empty so up next for Chicago Paul DeYoung bottom of the zone and a called strike well as good as things can be it can be a tough day at the office even for the skippers seeing the offense just sputter not able to get anything going that's the third and it's oh. a one two three inning make it six shutout innings for him out there now it's the Tigers three and the White Sox nothing. Bottom of the six. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Mark Canna. The wind of the pitch. Hey. And that one clips the corner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Steven Wilson getting loose out there. Banks getting cranked up as well. Swing and a pop up foul out of play off to the right side that'll find the stands and he deals that one the other way takes it in for the out it's never fun going back to the dugout no, no, no. after hitting the line Good drive that finds a glove but you will yeah. get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Popped up. Settles underneath it. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Now batting right, right, right fielder. Wenzel. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Wenzel Perez. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. And that is that. Back here in Detroit, new inning getting started. And now the catcher comes up to him. Corey Lee. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And as good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. One out, runner at second. And here is Sosa to the plate. And clips the corner. Bounced up the middle. On to first. 
He's out. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Coming home. The throw in, but it's offline. And it's now a two-run game. Comes through with the RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Runner at first with two away. Andrew Benintendi digs in now. Out to short, Kreidler. And that Out. is the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the, the seventh. Five. Now at the plate, the Justin really. Henry Malloy. Justin Henry Malloy. As the lefty gets to work. That one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The lefty fires. Inside, almost got him. And it's even up. That Thank one you. almost got him. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that the one. Catcher, I really like that goal. swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the Roger. infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And up next for Detroit, Jake Rogers. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boog. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth. A great feeling off the bat. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. That one fouled off. And now it's one and two. And two another ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Pitch misses. Three and two now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Robert makes the catch. Now that should stop. Ryan. And now the shortstop, Ryan Kreidler. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Step off throw to first. Thanks. Malloy back on a dive. Yeah. 
pitch nope, misses. That's, the ball. Yeah, that's ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Malloy leads off first with one away. Swing and a pop up. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. No, seven, no, seven, no, number eight. Left hander out of the bullpen, Tanner Banks. Now, well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Into center. That gets down for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Left hand batter waits. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Misses yeah. the zone and he gets him to chase. One ball. Man, Two that strike. was pretty gross right there. The one two. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. On the ground, right side, Lopez. Over to first, oh. and that's the inning. Tigers strand a pair, but they still lead it 3 1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Will Vest. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, okay. Rogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Oh, you know, that's got to be very frustrating for this guy he knows the strike zone extremely well and you know what good hitters are not going to compromise he'll take that punch out but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else so here's the cleanup hitter Gavin Sheets fastball for a strike all ones the count One down, base is empty. Ball one there. The one one is fouled off. The pitch. Bounce to the right. It's on oh. to Canna. Two up, two down here in the top the of the eight. Number 25, Andrew 
Vaughn. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that is ball one. Upstairs. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss. Well, they came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. He brought it back. Thought he was going to get to jog around the bases after it left the bat, but the left fielder said, not today. Goes up, and he brings that in. Exciting way to end the inning. And now the DH, Riley Green. The designated hitter. Riley Green. And here it comes. Banks, a 6-1 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slurve, and he works in a sinker. And takes low for ball one. Ground ball up the middle. And he'll just eat it. That's an infield single. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. And now Mark Kent. Oh, that, that just misses, and it's one and zero. Well, these Tigers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. I can watch these hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Giorgella steps in. First pitch, and he just misses. Ball one, no strike. He was late. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at. And a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. At the belt and fires. Bows it off. Still 1-2. And a pitch. On the ground, two ball. Lopez over to DeYoung. Back to first, and that is a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. At the plate with two away, swings through oh, that one. Count. Hit in the air, right field. Coming on is Fam to make the play. That is the inning. One left for Detroit as the lead remains 3-1.
we're now back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Foley. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. De Young leading things off and takes a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. In one the one. dirt, and one and one. To short Kreidler. Gets it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. The bat. The catcher. Corey Lee. He's two outs away. And here's the catcher, Corey Lee. And a foul ball. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the ninth. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. It's amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. This one in the air center field. Moving back for this one. White Sox down to their final Lopez. out. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy hey. is a big contributor. And there's the strike. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Ground ball, and this should do it. On the first, Falky. And the Tigers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3 1 ball game. The game we were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Tigers, three runs on nine.